All right, guys. Um, sorry about that. I already made a mistake. This big guy here um, goes to this dummy. I was thinking about him, looking at it. That's my mistake. And we'll keep on moving. So that means this little guy goes here. And again, if you think this is tedious, you should try actually building these bastards. Forget about it. Sometimes I get questions on uh, how do I come up with the shapes of these robotic parts. And the truth is, um, even when I sketch it in my book, I only roughly... Um, well, hold on. Let me pull up a picture of a sketch. All right. Um, <clears throat> this is just a, a sketch I did at the park. It's just an idea for a mech or a robot leg on how I would want it to function. See, um, this is the hip. Sorry, I was breaking it down to uh, an engineer body of mine. He's always interested in what I'm doing. You can see this is basically all I follow in Studio Max once I get the sketch down or the general feel of what I want to do with it. So this is actually where the bones will follow. But um, that's, that's the only part I really get done in a sketchbook. Maybe I might flesh out some shapes or whatever, like this uh, thigh plate here. Or the back of this, how I want it to connect to this piece. But other than that, it's really just kind of a free-for-all for shapes when I start building. Okay, so back to this. And again, with these two shapes, I got lazy. We're going to have to not redo them, but, you know, I'll fix them up a little bit. Okay, so now we have all that in order. We have all of our piston pieces where they should be. Now I'm going to go through and... <laughs> I know, I know this is so boring, but you asked for this. This was um, after modeling, maybe setting up pistons and rigging is the um, the top requested requests I get. So now I'm going to link all these things with the link tool here, and I want to be careful that when I link them, it's linking to the right piece. You know, it's the right piece because it highlights. The piece you linked it to. In this case, the dummies. You just click and drag, and you'll get an icon once you get over uh, linkable stuff. <laughs> I would say geometry, but those dummies aren't geometry. Just go right in the order that I, or almost the same order I align them in. <sighs> so now we have that, and um, I just usually double check to make sure that these all are working properly, where everything is linked. Make sure there's no floating pieces. See, there goes floating pieces right there. And 
you can select both of them and drag them both at the same time in this piece. Okay, so we did a good job with that. Everything's properly done. Five and a half minutes in. You know, keeping a look after the time is so irritating. Having to break this up into ten minute segments. You know, Alan McKay wouldn't put up for this. Of course, he's legendary and well established. I'm just a fat guy sitting in Philadelphia. Anyway, so we'll get on with the um, <coughs> the look at constraint portion. And uh, let's do it. So what you want to do is you want to highlight the geometry you want to constrain. And go to animation, constraints, look at constraint. And again, you get that dotted line, and you aim it at, or you click on whatever you want it to look at. In this case, it's looking the opposite way, and you get this blue line here that indicates what it is looking at. You can adjust that blue line to make it go any distance you want. Um, I usually put it to zero. I find it irritating to look at. <clears throat> um, and here is the way it's lining. We're going to leave it at X and just hit flip. So now we know that it is looking directly in the right direction. And I'm going to do the same thing for all the pieces. Remember, it's animation, constraints. <coughs> Look at constraint. Remember, you want to aim it at the dummy. Aim it at the dummy. So now we have a working piston. How do we know it's working is because we can take this and we see that it's uh, still aimed at that dummy. Again, I'm going to cut that blue line down to zero. And we will do the rest of these right now. Damn it. You best just need to experiment more. I hate doing these ones. There was some guy that was giving me shit on the uh, the three board on 4chan. I don't know if you guys uh, chan at all. But I do a lot of promoting over on the three board. Uh, a lot of good work going on over there. You see some uh, top stuff. If you're interested, you can field questions. Uh, whatever. Alright, so the video is going to run out soon. We're at eight and a half minutes. Um, what I'm going to do is... I'm sorry, I'm looking for animation. What I'm going to do is finish these out. Once the video... Once I stop the video. And... Um, no, well, maybe not. I'll, I'll just do them all for you guys. I'm good like that. I get, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll actually record me doing each one of these just so there's no question of where these things go. So there's another one we're going to have to flip. Flip. Animation, constraints, look at constraint. Alright, here's a problem. And I'm glad it happened, but we're going to have to pick it up in the next video.